Hello and welcome to another Sparkle 5 tutorial. In this short tutorial, I just want to take a quick look at some text effects that you can produce in Sparkle now. They're not very often used, but they actually can be quite useful sometimes. So let's take a look. I've got a Sparkle page open here with a black wooden background and a black Sparkle text. That's all it is, nothing untoward going on. However, what I can do is switch on the effects in the contextual menu and we start getting some interesting effects. So at the moment it's just a fill effect and it's filled in white. I could fill it in blue, in red, etc, etc. But let's change that content fill and we can put a gradient. Now the gradient works on the size of the box. So if I make that box much bigger the gradient becomes much more spread out. So just bear that in mind when you're fixing your gradient in place. And of course you can do the normal angle change in the gradient should you want to. Let's move on and we'll put a stock image in there. And here we go, there's one there. So very easily done, just change it to a stock image. I've put it on stretch and fill. Uh, and you can make a nice title out of that. Before we go one step further, let's take a look at that in the browser. And you can see it's a nice effect. And with the right picture, it can look quite stunning. Bear in mind, thin, spindly little text isn't gonna work. You need a big, bold font to make this work. So let's go back to Sparkle. And if I scroll down, I've got something else here. Now, what I've got here is that same image in a box. And I've also got the same image as we had before in the word sparkle. So that's just with the effect turned on, stock image selected, fit and fill. I'll put that back over the image so you can't see it. Now if I run to the image below that, which is the same image, I've put a blur on it. And on the blur, I've said, at 16% I want you to start blurring the effect and make it fully blurred by about halfway down the page. And I've blurred it by 20 pixels. Let's have a look at what that looks like in the preview, because it's a really lovely effect. So as I scroll up, the image appears, and then the further I scroll, the background blurs, but there's the word sparkle in the same image. And that's a really lovely effect to have on a website. There's nothing that you have to use outside of Sparkle to create this effect. So it's literally the word Sparkle with the effect turned on and the stock image used over and above the same sized box with the same image. That's all that is. Really nice effect. And one more effect which you can use, but this is a bit more of an unknown quantity, this effect. So basically I've got a text box with the word sparkle is awesome in it. The text is white, the knockout effect, not the clip to text effect. And I've chosen a background blending mode of soft light. And I've placed that over this image. And again, you can create all sorts of different effects by doing this. Um, you've just got to go through the different blend modes to see what works for your particular image and your particular text. Now changing the color of text will make it darker and eventually it will disappear altogether, depending on what background blending you have switched on. You can also select the image itself and create some blend modes on there, but Sparkle is doing some heavy lifting on what your final uh, result will be here. Um, so it's a case of literally just trying whatever works for your image. And those are just um, two or three really simple ideas for text effects. And we can go to the preview and just have a look at these one more time. So there's just the literal clip to text with an image. This is clipped text with an image over the same image. And you can see with a blur effect, you can see how that works. And then this is literally just putting some text 
over an image and changing the blend modes. So that's it for this tutorial, hope you liked it and we'll see you in the next one.